Hi, this is Katie with Crafting with Katie, and today it's a Technique Tuesday at My Creative Time, and the technique I'm going to show you is using um, some dies and the essential glue pad to get glitter in different patterns using stamps. So what I've got here are some ornaments that I cut from the My Creative Time Warm Holiday Fun. It comes with a set of dies. And I'm going to be using these different patterns that you can use to stamp across the, the ornaments. But I'm going to be doing it with glue and then sprinkling glitter on it. So these dies were cut from the DCWV uh, metallic stack. And this was from Joann's or Michael's. I'm not sure if they even sell it anymore. I've had it for a couple of years. But I thought it would make a nice look. Okay, so the way the essential glue pad works is you actually have to add the glue. I used it, tried it out a little bit last night and it's not super sticky. So it comes with a little bottle of glue and you just have to rub it on. There we go. And since these stamps are just um, long rectangles, I'm just gonna do this top part so I don't waste it. So pretty much get some full coverage there. And then I've got this stamp here, this cute little chevron and polka dot pattern. So I'm just going to get that into the glue. And I'm going to use this one for um, these ornaments right here. So I'm going to go right across the middle. There we go. And I'll try this one too. Okay, so I'm just going to close up my glue and then because I'm using glitter, I'm going to take some paper and fold it in half so that after I use the glitter, I can pour the excess back into the bottle. So the first one, this kind of pinkish metallic color, I thought I would use some purple glitter. And this is a Martha Stewart fine glitter that I got a big variety pack at Michael's quite a while ago and you can um, use a coupon with it so I was able to get it like half off. So I'm just gonna tap that down. Get the excess off. And look how pretty that is. And after it dries I'll just get a little paintbrush and go around those areas where there wasn't any glue to get off the excess. Okay so that's my purple one. Now the silver one, I wanted to use red glitter. So I'm gonna put this one aside because I'll be using this purple again. Okay, and hopefully this glue is still wet. I'm not really sure how long it stays wet, but we'll find out. There we go. And it looks like maybe I could use a little more on the other side here. So, so you'll see you're not going to get as crisp as an image if you are using embossing powder, you know, or a regular ink stamp. But still, it gets a really pretty look. Okay, so I've got those two finished. Now for the round ones, I think I'm going to try the hexagon pattern. So to be careful that my glitter doesn't get everywhere. My design team members are going to think this is hysterical that I'm even doing this technique because I never use glitter. I'm pretty much a neat crafter. I don't usually do the messy things. So, okay, so the next thing you want to do, because this is glue, you don't want to leave it on your stamp. So I'm just going to get a baby wipe. And this is how I clean my stamps all the time. Make sure we don't have any glue left on here. Okay, so we'll get the little cute little hexagon one. And then again, using the little glue pad.
Okay. I'm going to just close this up each time so the glue I put on there will stay. Okay, so back to the one that was the pink color. I'm going to grab my purple glitter. pretty that is. So set that aside. And for the gold, I'm going to try this glitter called graphite. We'll see how it looks. So I get, here's my other piece of paper. This is the graphite color. I like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, might need a little bit more in this little corner. Good. Okay, for this last one, I'm going to use the snowflake pattern. Get lots of glue on here. And then I think I'll use red again because that's what I did before for silver. This is so pretty. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this glitter cleaned up and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I'm all cleaned up, I'm gonna to put together my ornaments. Part of the die that comes with the ornaments is the cute little ornament hanger. So to attach them, I'm just gonna use a little dot of the Scotch Quick Dry Glue. I think it's getting clogged. There we go. And put that at the top. Isn't that cute? All right, so my ornaments are finished and I went ahead and cut this pretty tree. If I turn it, you can, the light, you can see the design on it. This is from the Christmas Cricut cartridge, which I believe is retired, but you could use any tree. I just like this one because the layers. And I just used some pine feather um, cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And this, I wasn't sure how it would cut because it's so intricate, but I put it on the blade five, pressure five, and speed at three, and then did a double cut, and it came out perfectly. I was actually quite surprised. So this piece of paper is gonna be um, the main part of the background that I'm gonna have the tree on. And it's really thin. It's from a Cloud9 Designs pack of um, just super thin pattern paper and that I usually use for envelopes because it's that nice. I mean, it's pretty much the same weight as my just copy paper here. But what I want to do is emboss the star that is on top of, um, that I'll put on top of the tree. And that star is right here. So I'm going to use some silver embossing powder. And then this cute little sentiment, may your holiday sparkle and shine, I'm going to um, put on another piece of paper that's going to be on the inside of the card. And that'll be silver embossing too. So I'm just going to look here and see about where I want my star. I'm going to be using some Versamark ink. So I think like right about here. So I'll just move my tree and get that on there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the sentiment that I wanted. And that is just going to go in the center of this piece of white cardstock. Because my actual card base is going to be the same green as the Christmas tree. So I need white on the inside to be able to 
have a sentiment. Okay, so let's see. That's actually gold. I want my silver. Okay, so here's some silver filigree embossing powder that I got from Paper Tray Ink. And actually, I should do my little fold here again so that I can pour it back, the excess back in. Fold this piece of paper. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put it on here. And hopefully this is going to work on this really thin paper and it won't curl up. We'll see. That looks good. And then I can't even see where I stamped it. I think it's in the middle. Nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and heat emboss All this. Alright, so this is my card base and this is going to be an A7 size card which is 5x7. So this is 5 inches across by 7 inches tall. And then I'm going to put on some of the silver that matches the ornaments. And this is again 7 inches tall, but the width is 4 and 3 quarters inches. So I'm just going to use my ATG to adhere this. And then the next piece that I'm going to adhere is the purple that has the little silver embossed star for my tree. Got a little wrinkled, but hopefully it'll smooth out. Okay, and then the Christmas tree is going to go right on top there. So I'll use my Scotch Quick Dry to get that on there. And then we just want to have this centered so it looks like that star is at the top. Okay, so the last thing is just to get, um, actually before I do the ornaments, I think I'll do the inside. So this is how that turned out with the the silver embossing on there, I thought that turned out very pretty. You can see my paper got a little bit warped when I heat embossed it, um, but it should lie down flat with the ATG. And actually the cardstock got more warped than that thin purple paper, I was kind of surprised at that. So this again is um, 4 and 3 quarters by 7. Okay, back to the front. So now the last step is just to get these ornaments So I just laid on. out my little ornaments on there, how I want them, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere these, I think with the Scotch Quick Dry, because I don't want to have to put these face down anywhere. I can just hold them in the air to do that. Let's see. So if we, you know, the glitter might come off. I'm not sure. Not being the expert in glitter here. Okay, here's our finished card. I hope you learned something new with my technique today. And the Essential Glue Pad, um, I think you can find all over the place. I'm pretty sure I got mine at Michael's. So you can use your coupon and I don't think it was very expensive anyway. Now be sure to stop by My Creative Time because there are more um, Technique Tuesday tutorials today. You can see one by Jeannie and one by Kim and they're both super talented. Thanks for watching. Bye.